To upgrade the iOS image on a Cisco router, you'll need the following items. A computer or PC with a terminal emulation program like PuTTY, and a TFTP server like TFTPD64 by Junin. You're also going to need a console cable and an Ethernet cable. And then, of course, you're going to need a Cisco router and the latest iOS image.bin file from Cisco.com. You'll need to log in to your Cisco account and then download the latest iOS image for your particular router. So in this scenario, my PC is located at 192.168.0.10 and my router, R1, is 192.168.0.1. I have the baby blue console connection to the router and I also have an ethernet cable connected to the router's gigabit 0 slash 0 port. At the desktop, let's make sure that we have everything we need and that we're all set up and ready to go. First of all, I'll need to console into the router with PuTTY. So I'll double click on PuTTY, set it to a serial connection, and open the connection to the router. Press enter and I have my console connection. Next, we'll need to run our TFTP server. Now before I run the TFTP server, I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to turn off or make sure that I've turned off my Windows firewall. So I'll have the firewall down for this and I want to verify that I can ping my PC at 192.168.0.10. Okay, so I've pinged from the router to the PC. Now it's time to run the TFTP server. So here's my TFTPD64 folder. Inside of it there's the TFTPD64.exe TFTP server and I've created a folder named TFTP-folder and inside of it I've put my iOS image file that I'm going to be upgrading the router to. I'll need to copy the name of this file name. So I'll just copy that and put that in the buffer because I'll be using that in a minute. Okay, let's run the server. When I run the server, I need to put in a few important settings. Namely, you're going to want to go into settings and set the base directory to the directory where you have your iOS image files. So I've set it to tftp-folder because that's where the iOS image file that I'm going to be upgrading to is located. Also, you'll want to bind tftp to the IP address of the NIC that you're using. This is my laptop and I have two NICs, a gigabit ethernet NIC and a wireless NIC. I'm using the 192.168.0.10 address and I'm binding the server to that address. You'll also want to go into DHCP and set the default router to 192.168.0.1 and the mask to 255.255.255.0. If you don't, it'll complain and just give you and, and tell you that you need to do it. Okay, I'll click OK. It tells me my DHCP pool is empty, but that's okay. I'm not really setting up a DHCP server. I'm setting up a TFTP server. So it looks like we're all good. If you have the right folder located here and you have the right IP address bound here, then you should be good to go. Now all we need to do is go into the router. First thing I'll do is do a show flash and take a look at my current iOS image file. The current iOS image on the router is a 15.4.3 iOS image. This is the .bin file right here for a Cisco 1900 series router. We're going to be upgrading to iOS 15.7.3. Okay, the command to do it is copy TFTP flash. So copy TFTP to flash. I'll press enter and put in the IP address of the TFTP server that I'm going to be using, which is my IP address at 192.168.0.10. And I'll need to paste in the source file name. Now you can see it's already loaded here because I've done this before, but I'll just right click and it'll paste in that the name of that file name that I need. My iOS file name gets pasted right in. I'll press enter. The destination file name will be the same file name. 
So I'll press enter again and we should be getting a TFTP connection to my computer from the router and you can see with the exclamation points here that it's beginning the process of copying the .bin file, the iOS image, over to the router. The iOS image finished copying over to the router. You can see we get an OK symbol here and how many bytes it took. Now if I do a show flash I should see two iOS images and I do. So now to boot to the new iOS I'll put in, I'll go into global configuration mode and put in the command boot system flash colon and then paste in the name of the file that I want to boot to. Alright, excellent. I will save my configuration. With a copy running dash config to startup dash config. And now all I need to do, once the configuration is saved, is reload the router. Put in the reload command. Confirm. The router finished restarting. I'll go in and put in a show version command to verify that we're running the iOS, the new iOS. And there it is. System image file is 15.7.3 and that is the iOS that we uploaded.